The following video is a recap of Wild Area. Welcome to Lewis Adventures Play Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disability similar lines. Join me on this latest adventure as I cover Wild Area and Hunt for Shinies, as well as the new Pokemon, Toxel and Toxtricity which are the main focus of this event. Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about the special research story, a rockin' research which has two paths, amp it up and low key. And if you go with amp it up, which is what I picked, you deal with electric type Pokemon with your rewards being Popstar Pikachu and Amped Up Form Toxtricity. If you went with Low Key, your rewards include Rockstar Pikachu and Low Key Form Toxtricity. And we're going to dive into the tasks for both of these special research stories. And then we're going to talk about the timed research you had to complete. And now we're going to go with task one. Catch 10 electric or poison type Pokemon. Explore one kilometer. Catch three different species of electric or poison type Pokemon. For task two, you had to catch four electric or poison type Pokemon with nice throws. Earn a candy exploring with either an electric or poison type buddy. And earn three hearts with an electric or poison type buddy. For task 3, you had to catch 10 different species of electric or poison type Pokemon, power up either an electric or poison type Pokemon 6 times, and evolve either an electric or poison type Pokemon. For task 4, you had to power up a ground type Pokemon 3 times, use Two super effective charge attacks in Rage, Gym Battles, Battle League, or against Go Rocket Grunts, and battle in two raids. And finally, Task 5, Hatch. Two eggs, spin 20 Pokestops or Gyms, and complete five research tasks. 
And now we're going to talk about the time research, which is called Throw Wild. And for task one, you had to spin three Pokestops or gems and catch ten Pokemon with your rewards being 1,000 Stardust, 1,000 XP, and 3 Safari Balls. For Task 2, you had to catch 3 Pokemon using Safari Balls, and catch 3 Mighty Pokemon. Your rewards were 1,000 Stardust, 1,000 XP, and 3 Safari Balls, and during the event throughout the day, you got the hourly restock time research, which automatically grants you 10 Safari Balls each, and days 1 and 2 at 6.15, Safari Zone ended. And one more thing, in addition to amped up or low-key toxicity, you also could do Gigantamax raids for those forms and also catch a Snorlax wearing a Rock Star jacket which had a Pokeball Diamond studded on the back, spiked bracelets, and the, the, the Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball on the left side of the jacket. Well, today is the last and final day of Wild Area. For day two, I'm going to mostly focus on shiny hunting instead of raids. My journey will conclude today. Well, Day one of Wild Area has already started, and I hope to find some shinies here and there, and get toxicity in the process. Moments ago, I just did a raid for and captured my very first toxicity. I'm definitely on a roll here. Stay tuned for possible shiny hunts. Moments ago, I just did my second Toxicity Raid and captured it. So far, I'm enjoying myself during Wild Area. Moments ago, I just raided for and captured Toxicity number three. This, so far, has been a good day for day one of Wild Area. Moments ago, I just got my first shiny, and that was Kyogre in a Primal Raid. I'm definitely happy so far. Moments ago, I just raided for and caught my fourth Toxtricity. I'm definitely enjoying Wild Area so far. Moments ago, I just caught my second shiny of Wild Area and my very first shiny Skrelp. I couldn't be more happier. Stay tuned to see if I find more shiny. I'm on the 22nd street side of the Eastern State Penitentiary and moments ago, I just hatched a Toxel. Stay tuned to see if I can find any more along with Shiny. I'm here on the Brown Street side of the Eastern State Penitentiary, and moments ago, I just caught my third Shiny of Wild Area, a Shiny Bulbasaur, for the first time in a long time, everyone. Stay tuned as my journey continues. Moments ago, I just caught my fourth Shiny of Wild Area. And that was an Alolan Shiny Geodude, the first since 
Alolan Geodude Community Day. My journey continued. Earlier, I caught my fifth shiny, another shiny Bulbasaur. This event keeps getting fun each time. My journey continues. Well, day one is now in the books. Stay tuned for, for the conclusion of my journey tomorrow during day two of Wild Area. Moments ago, I caught my sixth shiny for this weekend and the first for the day. My very first shiny Venipede. My journey continues as I plan to get some more shinies as the best I can. Well, I couldn't get any more shinies today. But I did manage to snag six of them, including one legendary and five common Pokemon, which include a Skrelk, a couple of Bulbasaur, and a Lolan Geodude. And this was a fun weekend. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching, everyone. Also follow me on Instagram, Threads, Twitch, TikTok, Facebook, and coming soon, Blue Sky. And remember, it's time for adventure. I will see you all in the next video, which will be about my search for Halucha during my upcoming trip to Cozumel.